When deciding to use the ACLS or BLS survey, assess whether the patient is conscious or unconscious. If the patient is conscious, use the ACLS survey. If the patient is unconscious, use the BLS survey. The BLS survey has four steps. First, check for responsiveness. Tap and shout, are you all right? Then assess the chest for movement while paying special attention to absent or abnormal breathing. If the patient is unresponsive, go on to the second step, which is activate the emergency response system and get an AED. Step three is circulation. Check for a pulse. If you do not feel a pulse within 10 seconds, start CPR. Immediately start giving cycles of 30 chest compressions, followed by two ventilations. The key concepts here are to push hard and fast. Hard meaning at least two inches, and fast meaning at a rate of at least 100 compressions per minute, allowing complete chest recoil after each compression. Minimize interruptions in chest compressions to less than 10 seconds while giving ventilations. It is recommended to switch providers every two minutes to avoid fatigue, and lastly, avoid excessive ventilation. Until step four, defibrillation. When an AED arrives, follow the AED instructions and apply the pads. Clear the patient to analyze the rhythm, and if advised, ensure all rescuers are free of contact with the patient and deliver the shock. As soon as the shock has been given, resume CPR, beginning with chest compressions. In some cases, BLS results in the return of spontaneous circulation and respiration. However, if cardiac arrest persists, it is time for more invasive and advanced procedurals included in the ACLS survey. Again, the other time to use the ACLS survey is if the patient is conscious and needing treatment for ACS. You can easily remember the steps of the ACLS survey by remembering A, B, C, D. A is for airway. For unconscious patients, an advanced airway is helpful to maintain airway patency. Waveform capnography should be used if an advanced airway is utilized. B is for breathing. After the insertion of the advanced airway, ventilation should be maintained at a rate of one breath every six to eight seconds without an eruption of chest compressions. Airway management skills will be covered in a separate training video. C is for circulation. Attaching EKG leads establishing IO or IV access, and administering drugs to manage cardiac dysrhythmia. D is for differential diagnosis. This involves searching for and treating the H's and T's. Although these are listed in progressive order, oftentimes the team will be doing multiple steps simultaneously. So you've completed the skills training video. Please feel free to review this as often as you would like, and we encourage you to practice your skills with a skilled healthcare provider. So please go out there and save lives.